Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about the best makeup at Target. Now this is kind of just drugstore makeup in general, but I do buy most of my drugstore makeup at Target because I've just noticed their prices do tend to be lower than Ulta or CVS or Walgreens. I did recently do videos on the best sellers at Ulta and Sephora. If you're interested, I will link those in the description box. So I thought I'd go through everything while putting on makeup and let's get into it. All right, I already have eyeshadow primer on, and I will say I do love the Milani eyeshadow primer, which can be found at Target. And as far as eyeshadow, I was debating. So these, I have these two e.l.f. Bite Size palettes. These two colorful ones I talked about in recent ranking mini palettes. I think they are only okay. These two are not sold at Target though, but this one is. So I did recently buy this. Um, this is the Truffles one, and they have a lot of these neutral ones at Target. These are only three dollars which is amazing like i said i really don't think they're amazing but they're good especially for three dollars my actual favorite eyeshadow from target is the milani bold obsessions palette i love this i just thought i i'm not going to use it in today's video because i've talked about it so much on my channel but this is one of my favorite palettes ever this is 15 dollars at target and it's amazing but let's use the elf one like I said, they are good, especially for $3, but again, not amazing. I'm gonna start with the lightest brown, and I do think that the neutral one is better than the colorful ones, probably because neutral eyeshadows do test, tend to be easier to create, you know, from what people say, you know, and it's also harder to blend colorful eyeshadows, so who knows. I will just say overall, I just find the e.l.f. eyeshadow formula to be very inconsistent. I have another palette from them, the 18 Hit Wonders, which I did also buy at Target, and it's good, but again, it can be very hit or miss. Some of them are very, very powdery. So as you can tell, it's pretty powdery. I'm gonna go in with this brown now. Also, Makeup Geek eyeshadows are at Target, and I did buy one of their older quads that was there. I haven't tried the new ones, but I am interested. They're much more expensive, you know, than other makeup at Target, drugstore in general. I'm gonna put a little bit of the black. It does have little tiny sparkles in it. You definitely can't see it on the eyes. Blend with the lighter brown. And I've said before, I just think e.l.f. eyeshadows, you actually are better off doing less blending than more blending because they can kind of blend away to nothing. So I do like this little palette and I like the other ones that I have. I just don't think that the e.l.f. formula is amazing. I'm gonna go in with this silvery shade. This is pretty good and I did not wet my brush. So although I did watch Kathleen Light's recent favorites video and she talked about these little e.l.f. bite size palettes and she said that they are <laughs> Natasha Denona quality and I just have to disagree with that. I don't think that they're that good. They're nowhere near as good as my Natasha Denona eyeshadows, but they are good. And considering that they're $3, that's you know pretty impressive. As far as eyeshadows though, I definitely do prefer other more affordable brands that are not drugstore, like ColourPop and Juvia's Place. But I do think e.l.f. eyeshadows are pretty good, but like I said, can definitely be hit or miss. Alrighty, I did some winged liner with the Maybelline Line Stiletto, and for primer, I'm gonna go with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I do actually really like this. This is the one that's the dupe for the Tatcha, which I do have that, and I actually think that the e.l.f. is a little bit better. They're very similar. The Tatcha's a bit more drying, though. This is not as drying, which, this time of year my skin is definitely on the dry side. I will say that a lot of primers I've tried at the drugstore haven't been my favorite, but this one I do really like, and I've tried some of the other ones from e.l.f., and again, not my favorite, but this one, pretty nice. My two favorite Target foundations are the e.l.f. one. This is the Flawless Satin Finish. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I used this in my last video, so I'm gonna go with the e.l.f. I've talked about this a lot on my channel, this is such a good foundation. I did recently repurchase it. My color is light ivory. As a side note to this video though, I will say, I said I was not going to buy any makeup in March. Well, when the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit was re-released, I bought it because that is something I've wanted a very long time. 
and I decided not to mess around and just buy it. So that happened. It's okay, you know. As long as I'm following my budget for the year, that's really the most important thing. And that is something I've wanted to purchase for a long time. But anyway, back to this video. This foundation, like I said, one of my favorites. Really nice coverage, finish overall. It doesn't last amazing throughout the day. That's really the only complaint I have about it. It lasts a good five, six hours. Concealers, sold at Target. Um, the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover. I've talked about this so much. This is one of my favorite concealers ever. And then also I have the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I have the regular camo concealer. I like this one more. It is more hydrating, hence the name. And maybe I'll just go with the e.l.f. because I'm using lots of other e.l.f. products in this video. I really do love that Target sells e.l.f. Although you can buy e.l.f. at Ulta on the e.l.f. website. I mean, that's the thing. These products you can buy a lot of different places, but I do tend to buy them at Target just because it is a little cheaper. And if you have the Target red card, you do get 5% off, which this one I think is much better than the original camo concealer. Kind of crazy. I don't have any face powders sold at Target. There are some good ones there, but I'm going to set my face and then I'll be back and I'll list what I'm using in the description box. It's sad I don't have really any drugstore bronzers per se. I'm using the Morphe Icon, which I do really like. This is sold at Ulta. I think they re-came out with these bronzers. But there are, I'm sure, I've heard really good about the Milani bronzers and the e.l.f. bronzers, but I don't own them. And I did not want to buy things just for this video, but there are definitely great drugstore bronzers. Oh, the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I've actually been considering repurchasing that one. Finished two of them in the past. All right, blush. I love this one. This is Milani Tea Rose. So pretty. This is about eight or nine dollars. And yeah, they sell these at Target, Walgreens, all these places. This is one of my favorite blushes ever, drugstore or high-end. It's just such a pretty color and I feel like it would go with a lot of different makeup looks. Let's do highlighter and this is, I love this, it's amazing. This is by Undone Beauty and this brand is newly at Target. This was actually sent to me, not sponsored, you know, has nothing actually to do with this video except I actually really like it and it is now sold at Target. You, they also have their own website. This is only $10. You get this giant highlighter. So this is actually called the Nonzer 4-in-1 Highlighter Palette. These are so foiled. I have talked about this before on my channel. Love it. So I'm going to go with the very top shade. I will say I don't love striped products like this, but when the stripes are big enough that you can actually fit your brush, I'm okay with that. They do have eyeshadow palettes, which I have talked about on my channel. And I did end up decluttering the one I had because it was just, the stripes in it were very narrow. It's hard to get your brush in, but the quality was good. And I also do have a cream blush from them that I really like. I love this highlighter. I will say highlighter at the drugstore, it's a little hard to find. My favorite highlighters do tend to be high-end, you know, or color pop. So this one actually is as good as a high-end highlighter, which, is kind of difficult to find. Essence is a brand that is sold at Target, but I don't see it at all Targets. I will say in general, that's one of the things about Target is they all have kind of different stuff. They don't all have the same brands, but this is the Pure Nude Highlighter. I've talked about this a lot. This one I actually definitely bought at Ulta, but I know that they sell this brand at some Targets. I always fill in my brows with eyeshadow and I did that and I'm going to use my favorite brow gel ever, Essence Make Me Brow. I know for sure this is sold at Target because I'm pretty sure I bought this there or maybe I got it at Ulta, who knows. This is only $3 though and definitely my favorite brow gel. All right, I smudged all three of these colors on the lower lash line. Like I said, I do like these e.l.f. palettes. I don't think they're amazing, but they're good. They're good and $3, I think if you want something, you know, teeny tiny that you can travel with or you don't have a lot of makeup, you don't want to spend a lot of makeup, I, I would definitely recommend these. I did want to mention, I do have um, a somewhat recent drugstore favorites video. I will link that in the description box if you're interested. I did do mascara, L'Oreal Voluminous, one of my favorites for like 12 years. I will say that I only use drugstore mascara for the most part. There's a lot of good ones at Target, Essence, this Maybelline. 
Elf and NYX have mascaras and sadly I've tried several from them and I don't really like those. Same with Wet n Wild. I have not had good luck with their mascaras, but there's several other very good ones at the drugstore and tie-in mascara is just not something I ever buy. Lip products also, I will say, there are some at the drugstore I really like, which I've talked about quite a bit already, the NYX Butter Glosses and these Wet n Wild uh, Liquid Mega Cat Suit. I do like these. Oh wait, these are the, the high shine ones. The matte ones, I don't love, but in general, my more favorite lip products, I know, are ColourPop. Some of my favorite lipsticks and lip glosses are from ColourPop, which are affordable, but just, you know, you have to order online. Although, actually, you can buy some at Ulta. All right, so I put on the Wet n Wild in Send Nudes with the NYX in Praline. I love both of these. These are pretty shiny on their own, but I like a bit more shine, so that's why I put the NYX on top. Alrighty, I really like this makeup look. It's very neutral, but it's kind of, you know, glamorous and nice. And I do like these e.l.f. palettes. I think they're good. They're not amazing, but $3, you can't complain. And I like that they're small. I love this mini palette trend. I will link that ranking mini palette video if you want to see that. And yeah, I really like this look. Also, my shirt is from Target. It's my favorite place to buy clothes. I don't buy that many clothes and I definitely don't like to spend a lot on clothes, but is what it is. So yeah, let us know what you think. Have you tried these e.l.f. bite-sized eyeshadows? What's your favorite drugstore makeup? That is it. And thank you so much for watching.